In this video, I will be showing you how I turn baking soda into washing soda. Washing soda has many, many uses, but I intend to use it to make pigments out of dyes. So let's get straight into it. To begin, I poured some baking soda into a pot and put it on the stove. You can also bake it in the oven, but I prefer this method because you can really tell when the washing soda is ready. Keep mixing and moving it around. It'll be done much faster and cook much more evenly this way. It's important to mention at this point that washing soda is non-toxic and relatively safe, but it is still a very basic substance and it's also caustic. So it's important to avoid getting it on your skin as well as inhaling it. If you have a dust mask, you should probably wear it. Without getting too much into the science of this, we are basically trying to convert baking soda, aka sodium bicarbonate, into washing soda, aka sodium carbonate. By cooking it, we are removing water and carbon dioxide in the form of steam. After 10 minutes of moving the baking soda around, I started noticing these little volcano bubble-like things popping to the surface. This let me know that the baking soda was definitely undergoing some kind of chemical reaction. They only appear when I'm stirring, but they're still definitely visible and I hope you could see them. The washing soda will be ready when it is no longer bubbling or reacting. Another way to know is by seeing if the powder is still sticking to the spoon or stirring device that you're using. Usually baking powder sticks to objects much more than washing soda does, but honestly there's not much of a huge difference. After I took the soda off the stove and let it cool, I decided to try some tests to assure myself that this worked. Visually. It's not that easy to tell the difference between the two powders. Everyone said it was easy, but I couldn't really tell the difference. The washing soda is more dull and less fine. Um, it's a bit more grainy or sandy than the baking soda, and it was also clumping less than the baking soda, but not significantly. To be sure, I decided to dissolve each in a glass of water to see if they reacted any differently or if they had any different properties. I put half a teaspoon of each powder into each glass, added water, and stirred. I noticed that the cup with the baking soda was much clearer than the cup with the washing soda. This was pretty convincing, that one powder is not like the other. Now sure that this is washing soda, and that this actually worked, I ladled it into a clean glass jar. Since it's no good to inhale this stuff, I try to find a way to avoid agitating too much or breathing too close to it. In this case, I just try to move away and breathe very gently. If you have a dust mask, definitely do 100% wear that. I will be releasing videos about how to use this washing soda to make paints out of dyes, so if that interests you, be sure to check them out. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you have any questions, please leave them as a comment. Thank you for watching!